You've already seen our E36 Compact, which we bought on a bit of a whim to have some fun with. It's the 1.9 M44 engine, and although it's had a good service history over the last 10 years, it's done 7,000 miles since the last oil change, so it's due one. I intend to replace the oil filter, the air filter, and all of the oil. Obviously, you've got to get it a little bit off the ground because you will never reach the sump plug if you don't. The engine, well, it's almost mid-engine this car in that most of the engine is behind the front wheel so that the sump plug ends up quite a long way underneath the car. I jacked it up using the uh, kit jack which is not exactly the most secure in the world made sure i put it onto axle stands so that i was safe still was a bit of a squeeze maybe we need higher axle stands sub plug came undone okay and the oil as it came out you could see was used but didn't look too bad sump plug didn't have any uh, bits and pieces on it I'd already bought an oil and air filter, and I like to try and buy German brands for German cars. The oil filter itself unscrews quite easily, although sometimes these caps can get stuck. Always have somewhere to put the oily bits. I use a plastic bag to put the filter straight into. I will have a look at it afterwards to make sure there's no bits of engine debris in it, but I don't want the oil all over the interior of the engine bay. It's a little bit mucky in there, but nothing you wouldn't expect after 7,000 miles. So, a good wipe out. Make sure your hands get nice and mucky and it would be really good to put the new filter in. The Marley filter comes with the O-ring. The O-ring's for this uh, little proddy bit that goes down inside the oil filter. They're a little bit fiddly to get off, but if you've got a nice little probe to get under them, they come off easy enough. Same with the uh, the bigger one. You might have to run it down the threads a little bit, but comes off quickly. You don't want to overstretch this big one putting it on, although you'd have to be really stupid to do that. I always put a little bit of the old oil on just so that when you're screwing it on there's no resistance from the rubber. Now there are two small o-rings that go on, a bigger and a slightly smaller one. It was the bigger one that goes on first. smaller one second just need to be careful that you don't make these stretched or that you don't nick them putting them on now I have heard that sometimes you get these filters that can be slightly oversized and they crush down when you put them in but it's better to get a good quality one rather than a, a cheaper one
And you don't want to cross thread this, so a little bit of care and attention as you're putting it in. It does say that you should torque this down to 25 newton meters, which is around about 18 feet pounds. Now, on the newer ones of this, they actually say 40 newton meters, but in reality, you need to tighten it down and then do it just enough so you can feel that you've compressed the o-ring and then that's good enough the oil filter comes with a nice new washer for the sump plug which has you scrabbling around under the car again i use the recommended 540 weight uh, semi-synthetic and I've chosen a German brand again. It takes about four and a half to five litres. You could convert that to four and a half to five quarts. What I do is put in about four and a half litres, maybe a little bit you know, under four and a half. Run the engine for a while and then check it. You can't check it before you've run the engine because you need to fill the oil filter. Obviously, you check for leaks both around the oil filter and underneath. I always fill it to the top mark on the dipstick that way you know where you're starting from when you come to check it in the future now the air filter is a bit fiddly and I ended up undoing a few more clamps than I really needed to With a little bit of patience, the top of the box does come off. Now, I noticed that the uh, mounts for my air filter box are a bit dodgy, but they're, uh, they're okay for now because we might change the air filter system altogether later. I cleaned out the box and put in a nice new filter. Really was no need for me to undo that wire, but I did anyway. Having taken the trouble to change the filters and the oil, I need to reset the service light. Still got one green block showing, but what you need to do is take off the cap off the diagnostics plug and basically earth pin number seven to earth, turn the ignition on for five to ten seconds and then turn it off and that's it, job's done. So you can either earth it to pin number 19 which is an earth or with a wire all the way to uh, an earth on the body, perhaps one of those uh, suspension nuts would be good. It only goes in one way, there's a, like a Pac-Man shaped thing that fits in. There we go. Although BMW say about 10,000 miles, I like to change the oil within 7,500 miles, especially for older engines. That's it, off on our journeys. Thanks very much for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already.